technology is progressing, our laws need to progress with them. Belton Mayor Tiffany Owenby says when it happened to her, she felt violated. But now, she's determined to help other victims of revenge porn. I just want my community to know that I'm not backing down from this, and I will do everything I can to make sure that other victims, future victims, are protected, and they don't have to go through what myself and previous victims have had to go through. Owen B. tells me her attorney has advised her not to speak specifically about her case because it's currently being investigated by SLED. A letter to news outlets from the mayor's attorney reads that a man who, years ago, Owen B. had been in a relationship with, secretly recorded, quote, a private encounter without her consent, and that, quote, he threatened to publicly distribute the recording if she broke up with him. Tiffany informed him that she would press charges if he did so. The attorney's letter says years went by without contact, and the video was later released. Regardless of what SLED's investigation finds, it's unclear if the person who distributed the video will face charges because South Carolina doesn't have any legal punishment for what is commonly referred to as revenge porn. There is no law on the books right now that specifically is tailored to this situation. So, uh, so while we might have pornography laws, pornography is sort of different than, um, than videos or pictures that were consensually made and, uh, and given to someone, or even secretly made, but by um, consenting adults in, in an act of intimacy. Owen B., who happens to be Belton's first female mayor, wants to see a law criminalizing revenge porn passed. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. And my thing is, it could happen to your grandchild, it could happen to your child, it could happen to anyone close to you that you loved. And what are you gonna do when it does? Because you can't go back in time. So either get behind it now, and let's get ahead of it. I wish something was done way before this. Let's, 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 let's stand up, South Carolina. Let's, and, and even at a federal level, let's, let's get in front of this. There's currently no federal law against distribution of non-consensual adult content of this nature. Representative Powers Norell plans to reintroduce her bill next year with harsher punishments and gender-neutral language. Because right now, bills can only advance if they involve COVID-19. In South Carolina, Renee Wonderlich, WYFF News 4.